Thank you for tuning in to Terry's Food Videos. On today's video, I'm going to do a Where They Now on the actor John Sika. Now, John Sika is most known from American audiences from the show Good Times, where he was Thelma's love interest, and they were engaged to get married. And once they started their relationship, Thelma started wearing African clothes and African hairstyles, and then her mother tries to convince her to, to not marry him. So it was a really interesting phase of the show. Good Times was one of my favorite shows as a kid. But he actually started acting in the 1960s. And he was born in Senegal on July 21st, 1934. He was born and raised in Senegal. And I think Senegal is one of the most beautiful countries in the world. I traveled there a few years ago. And the people, the atmosphere, the land, it's one of the most beautiful places I ever been to. And the people of Senegal have very dark skin. They have a lot of melanin in their skin. And you can look at him and tell he's from Senegal. And he's very handsome. And this is what got him into the entertainment industry. This is what got him into movies and TVs. But he actually started acting in the 1960s. And he moved to Europe during the 1950s. During the 1950s, he was part of the British military. And while he was serving in the British military, someone convinced him to try to be an actor. And he started acting on different plays and then it transitioned into movies. His first big role was in 1961 when he played in this interracial love movie called Flame in the Streets. At the time, this was really groundbreaking because this was the first major movie with an interracial couple in the history of Britain. So this got a lot of attention at the time. An interracial movie in 1961 was very unheard of, especially with a dark-skinned man like John Sika. So this got a lot of attention at the time. And he played in various roles throughout the 1960s. But his other major movie role was The Message, where he plays one of the prophets of the origins of Islam. So if you follow Islam, you probably heard of this movie. This movie is about the origins of Islam and how it started. And this is a very interesting movie. I thought he did a great acting performance in this movie. And he also played in numerous movies with Sidney Poitier, Uptown Saturday Night. So he's done a lot. He's had a long, luxurious career. But he passed away in 2006 at 72 years old from lung cancer. And these are some of the pictures of what he looked like when he passed away. But he's one of those long and forgotten actors that a lot of people don't talk about. But he, he should get more credit than what he deserves. Because he was really a great actor. He was very handsome, very charismatic. His last major acting performance was in Babylon 5 in 1993. He was supposed to be one of the main stars of this show, but he started having recurring health problems at the time. So they ended up writing him off the show. And for the last 15 years of his life, he just kept a low profile. He raised his son, he was married, and he, he stayed out of the spotlight the last 15 years of his life. He passed away on his ranch in California on September 14th, 2006. And he had been married for 40 years to Cecilia Eager. He had a son and he died in peace. And God rest his soul, he was a very talented, handsome man. A lot of people have different opinions about this topic. Leave a comment, rate, and subscribe.